So I'm here with Emblem 3, Drew, Wesley, and Keaton. Yeah. Now, I feel like every girl wants my job right now. What is that like? <laughs> Well, every girl wants your job because you're the reality show king. That's probably yeah. why they want No, you. I think it's because I'm sitting next to you. Or cool. that, yeah, I, mean, that, I, 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 saw, I saw the line at Much Music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that was crazy. We oh, just yeah. literally just did that and then <laughs> ran over insane, here. So. dude. They were freaking out. Like, it's across the street. I even heard like the main director guy be like, dude, I'm surprised. This is really good. It turned out great. Right <laughs> yeah. I feel like you guys have sort of capitalized, you know, more so than the other X Factor acts. Do you know why that is? Is it just because you guys were a group, you weren't really put together by yeah. the show? Do you have the experience? I think it's, yeah, we started out, as three of us, we've always been a group together, and um, we just knew exactly what we wanted to do and exactly. what we wanted to be, and we just did that. We're like, we're just going to do we're us, cool. do our best, and we came off the whatever show. happens is going to happen. Yeah, we came off the okay show, and we, our best. we came off the show, and we were just ready. Yeah, yeah ready it just go. comes down to us always believing, like, we got this. I feel like you have a credibility, you know, like the thing they always say about acts that come out of reality shows is, oh, you know, they just are there because of the TV, like right. they don't really have any right. talent. How do you address uh, that kind of criticism? Uh, well, we say we played probably like 200 clubs before we went on X Factor, yeah. and we're going to keep playing shows, and that's what we were all about, you know, is playing music. And the show was just a launching pad. Yeah, when they say like, oh, they're not talented or anything, I was like, please just come sit in a room with us and let us play you a song because we'll blow your mind. Yeah, promise. Yeah. Keaton, does it bother you when guys say, oh, Emblem 3, they're just another boy band, you know? Because definitely I had that stereotype when you guys first came out yeah, for the yeah. audition, and it's a lot more than that, you know? I don't feel like you're just singing poppy ballads. Yeah, I mean, the whole boy band term, it's like people can say what they want, really. And uh, we're Emblem 3, we play instruments, we write our own songs. Um, we're a band. We're a band. Um, but if they want to call us a boy band, that's, that's cool, too. It's because these baby faces. <laughs> Who gets the most girls? Don't hold the mic next to me. Wes, I don't know. Wes, probably? Wes, true. None of us get any girls. Yeah, yeah. No, I can count how many girls I've got on my one hand, so. On my phone. <laughs> so. It's weird. I think I've. Keep, yeah, yeah. Now, stop now. Now, now, the burning question that I have for you guys is like, what I liked about you is that you came off very confident on the show. You know, all the other acts were kind of like, oh, you know, we don't know what we're going to sing. We don't know about Demi. You guys were just like, bam, we're going to do this. We've got Simon. Did the confidence help and propel you Absolutely. to do as well as you did? Absolutely. Yeah, before we went on the show, take it. You say it better. Dude, than me. Uh, we had this one uh, mindset, and it was DGAF, Call which DGAF. stands for. Don't give a <laughs> But that honestly <laughs> helped us to have all the confidence we needed. And if you have confidence, that confidence is believing. You know, yeah. if you're like confident that I can do this, then that's you saying to yourself, dude, um, I believe that I can do this. We were just, so yeah, like, we were 100% going into it. We knew exactly what we wanted. We were just like, DF, no matter what happens, it's going to be all good because we're going to do our best. And we came from nothing, so it's not like we're going to lose anything. That's actually why we named the album that's nothing dropped. Nothing oh, look, look at that. Yeah. Look. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so. oh, yeah, the worst thing that could happen is we keep going and playing club shows and gaining fans. Right. Yeah, <laughs> because we were already building at that time, and, uh, you know, our lifestyle was awesome. We were surfing and oh, hanging out with friends and then playing shows on the weekdays and weekends. So it was like, dude, let's just keep doing that if we lose. But, you know, it ended up launching us to a whole new level and opened our eyes up to this massive world yes. that we have now and it's incredible. You know, uh, we're in the summer now, and usually what I hear about this summer is, oh, there's a hot summer track, you know, like, oh, listen to Call Me Baby, or listen to, like, Blurred Lines, but I feel like your album is like a summer album yeah. rather than just one track. Was that intentional? Really that was actually intentional, but it wasn't for, like, this summer. For us, like, it's for every day is summer vacation. Yeah, like, even, even in school and high school and stuff, you're dreaming of summer, and you yeah. want it to be summer. Summer is like the this like Summer paradise. is like the memories, you know? Yeah. Everyone, they think back to like a summer night, or they think back to, you know, a certain summer mm -hmm. situation. Summer in general is just like the best, fun, carefree oh, yeah. vibe. So it's like, why not make an album with that vibe? You can just throw it on at any party, at any time that you want to just have that sort of good, positive vibe going on. Right. You know, uh, I hang out with all these uh, girls from reality shows, and usually I say, oh, I'm interviewing Gordon Ramsay today, or I'm interviewing the guy from Survivor today, nobody cares. But when I told everybody that I was interviewing Emblem 3, I had, like, every real-world girl oh say, give them my number, give them my number. So what is that like? Yo, I'm talking, like, all day. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. So cool. That, like, still hearing that is, like, the coolest thing ever. Like, yeah. I'll never get used to that. That's, like, yeah. To us, we're just, like, the same dorky dudes that we've always yeah. known. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't really sink in. No, no. No, now, I'm just excited. It's cool. Now you guys are going on tour with Selena Gomez. Yes, Tell me yeah. about that and how excited are you? Oh, we are 
this excited. So it's going to be so cool. The amount um, of excitement we have stretches from the east to where the east touches the west around. That's so forever. That's forever, yeah, 360. Yeah. That's, that's such a cool there. analogy. Anyway, wow. uh, yeah, we're really excited. Um, Selena so seems like a really cool girl. We actually met her a couple times. We went to Disneyland with her, yeah. hung out. And uh, it's going to be just a big party the whole trip. And uh, the album drops July 29th, you said? Oh, 30th. Oh, 30th. Okay, and why should, uh, why should, oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, wow, oh, magic right here. Oh. Uh, so if I'm in the record store, why should I pick up your album? Keaton's face. Look at that. Dirt. You can't just walk <laughs> by I saw that, I'd be like, grab it off the shelf. <sighs> I'd actually buy the whole stack. The whole, just because my fans, like I don't understand. And on the deluxe edition, you've got like the live, the live. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah is this, see, this is the track. deluxe. It has like yeah, nice. extra. Yo, don't be stuff. giving away the oh, deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 You're trying to sell them here. Shit. Bro, chill out. Yeah. Bro, chill out. Anyway, anyway, this has extra live, live songs on it from like our tours and plus more, just, just more recordings songs. that didn't make it to the big one, but they're also really good. So this one's better. It's only like a buck more. If you're gonna buy one, buy this one. And if you're gonna buy both, buy both. I actually wish they wouldn't <laughs> even have made the first one and they would have just made that because this one's just that one but way better. Way yeah. Better. It only costs like two bucks more or something. Two bucks, yeah. yeah. And it's like you get four or five extra songs. So. Has uh, Simon heard it yet? Simon's heard it and he uh, loves it. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. Literally, they, the guy that, like basically our boss, Sovin, said that he showed it to Simon and he had nothing to say and he always has something to say. Yeah, wow. So you get, he's like, nothing means. Excellent. Yeah. Did, did Simon just want to be you guys? That was the sense <laughs> that I got from the show. You know, like he just, it's like he I didn't even care you. about the other people in his group, you know? Dude. Oh, Fifth Harmony. Yeah, they I got the, like but I'm, let me tell you about these guys, you know? You come over and like walk and then just like walk into our conversation and stand there for a second and just kind of feel the vibe. So maybe. <laughs> Well, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. You know how he just yeah, walk yeah, yeah. up, wander up, and like come into I the like, circle? I want to hang out with him. And yeah, be like, he's dude, really what's cool. up, man? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you think the show's going to change with now three girls as the judges? Like, I feel like I feel that like, suits Simon a lot. Yeah, he's <laughs> always, he just literally has like an entourage. All about so you, guys would have, you guys would have killed it this season, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. Three girls on the panel, are you kidding me? Oh, so true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Uh, and now, now my final question, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so... I feel like you guys are the perfect group, but I feel like I have a better name for you. Are you ready? Yes. Please. Okay. Emblem Four. True. Right? Yes. I feel like because you know I've got the whole like Bollywood audience. You know, I feel like exactly. I can bring a lot to the group. Exactly. You know, you really guys good. got Cali. I got Canada. Dude, yeah. that's the so right, We can yeah. expand the whole fan base. Yes. Reach out to like. I feel look people. like we all look. I'm wearing a hat too. Wearing I'm, wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat too. You actually out. have more class You're, than us. So I'm shoes. wearing purple underwear. You're wearing purple. Oh, 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 you oh, might have to down team. class a little bit. You're <laughs> too high class. I can't pull off this like wife beater thing though. That's I, I've, I've never I worn. I actually have one. one on underneath. I could take this one off. You could take that off, and we could just get naked again. Oh Wait, my. That was weird. Who Whoa. wears who wears two wife beaters? Whoa, Bro Town does. Hashtag Bro. Oh my goodness. All right. So July 30th. Nothing to lose. There it is. Hard copy.